the final point I want to look at before we get into some questions is the time of day that your scenes are set. Again, this is another really big one. So the, crime of day, the, the time of day is crucial <clears throat> is the difference of where those scenes are set. So if we have a look, if you've got a night scene at a train station, that's a quantum leap from a day scene in somebody's backyard. So once you're shooting night exteriors, you have a lot of lighting stuff to set up. It can be hours, you know, even on productions, that could be two, three, four hours just to set up that lighting. So that's very different than in a backyard of someone's house during the day. Um, now this isn't to say that nighttime is a problem. It's just where you, set the scenes um, with the time of day. So an interior, so if you're in someone's bedroom at night, um, that's very obviously very different than shooting in a, a street or train station at night. So when you're in interiors in the house, because that even can be filmed during the day, you can black the windows out, um, or it possibly will be sets, as Anne was asking. Um, and again, it's a balance within your screenplay. We're not sort of saying you want everything just to be daylight outside. Um, some films are all set at night and some are set at, all set at day, which works, but you just want to find a balance in your screenplay. If you've got lots and lots of scenes that are happening outdoors at night, that is just going to be a slower film to shoot and therefore more expensive. And again, if you just go, oh, walking down the main street, my characters come out of the train station at night and then they walk down the main street of the city. You know, that's such a big deep going, at least going, can they be sitting in a park and having this conversation? <laughs> you know, can they be sitting in a day or night? How that will differ. Um, so you just want to find that contrast and balance in your screenplay of where you're using night and day and just kind of really think about that. Um, and the time of day also where, and this is what you watch, I love watching in films when they've set certain, they set certain scenes at a, at a time of day <clears throat> to really help the budget. And a classic one is, People always working back late at night. So you see that a lot. And you think about, you could have a busy corporate office. If you go back with our earlier scenario we're talking about with the CEO and the janitor and, and the receptionist and security, you could have that a scene with them during the day when it's a madhouse. You know, there's all these employees going, everything happening, lots of extras coming, going on the main cast. Or you could also just set the scene at night, at the scene at night where they stayed back and they're working and it's them by themselves in their office. See the difference between those two scenarios? No extras, no additional cast. Um, it's just the main actor and the crew in an office. Uh, and if it's an office, you can still shoot during the day to make it look like nighttime as well. Just to wrap up before we get into questions, there's one example I watched recently that encapsulates so much of this. Um, is a horror thriller called Hush, which came out a few years ago. Um, it's a great film, so sort of, to watch anyway, but it's one location. So the premise is it's a, a deaf and mute rider has retreated into the woods to live in solitary uh, life. And she must fight for life when a, a masked killer appears at her window. So it's just a woman by herself in a house out in the uh, woods and the other main cast is the guy who's trying to kill her and there's two other supporting cast but they're only in for one or two scenes each and one of them is through video conference on a phone um, and it's set both at night and day so there are night scenes and there's night exterior scenes but there's also there's the scenes during the day and a lot of the night scenes also happen inside the house. I'm suspecting with a film like this, they would have built a set for it. But even if it was at a house location, when you watch the film, there's this balance between inside at night, outside at night, day scenes as well. So you can see through that schedule that they've, they've balanced it out um, perfectly. And it's a great little film to watch. It's really well written and directed. And um, I don't want to spoil it too much, but if you have a look at it, email me afterwards because there's some great some great moments in there. 